Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for clicking play. It's episode 8 then of our Director of Football Challenge with Football Club Barcelona. I hope you're enjoying the series so far still. Uh, if you are, smash that like button on this video. Subscribe if you are new. That really helps the channel grow. Thank you very, very much. Today then, a little bit of news to catch up on. Not a lot. It'll be a very short news roundup. You'll be pleased to hear. A few matches to catch up on. Um, and it is a massive, massive La Liga match against Atletico Madrid. It is going to be not title defining, but it's going to go a long, long way to determining how the end of the season is going to be. On the pitch then, we went to Alavej, the fantastically named Menditha Rotha. I love saying that, Menditha Rotha. What a great name. And we smashed them 4-0. Uh, they're struggling against relegation, as you would expect. It's Alavej. Um, we, we just, in the end, battered them. You can see from the stats, it's not a huge battering. Uh, we were very clinical. But it did take until penalties started to be given. I'm sure you've looked at this now. So Leo Messi gets a penalty on the 37th minute. And unfortunately, Pacheco got hands to it but couldn't keep it out. And we go 1-0 up. Three minutes later, we get given another penalty. And Pacheco pulls off a phenomenal save. And two minutes after that, we get given another penalty. The third in five minutes and Messi slots it home expertly to give us a two goal lead Angel Di Maria then scores a minute later to give us a 3-0 half time lead and Usman Dembele of course got a goal just past the hour mark to make it 4-0 that is how it finished it was a job done sort of thing but we needed a helping hand from the referee to get us off the mark unfortunately Messi did come away with an injury in the game um, he damage to the foot he's only out for two to three weeks the big news is he is back for today's match he's he came back just in time for the second leg against Besiktas but I didn't play him in that but he will be playing in today's game uh, Jordi Alba also picked up a hernia in, and he's out for five weeks he is still out injured at the moment which bit of a shame um, he's injured through wear and tear so I don't think I've pushed him. Um, I don't think I've pushed him too hard. He's he's um, he's been rotated with Luca Dean, so I don't think he's really played too much. So that one's a little bit a little bit worrying. Uh, back on the pitch, and we went to Valencia, and it was a dull as dishwater game, a bit like the Classico in the last video until the final 20 minutes, and then it just came to life. Usman Dembele got us off the mark. 71 minutes put us in front Simone Zaza then scored twice in nine minutes to turn the game on its head and seemingly give Valencia the points but Andre Gomez fired in against his former club uh, five minutes from time to rescue a point and it's a massive massive point because Valencia beat Atletico Madrid just the game before this so that was a great point for us uh, back at home against Las Palmas and SI you really need to sort out these stupid aimless crosses because Las Palmas scored from one it was just a ball into the box from Vicente and it just it went in it, it just went, it caught to Stegen out and it just it went in it was frustrating as all hell <laughs> we battered them we dominated Luis Suarez did get a hat-trick in the end we did win 4-1 uh, Mauricio Lemos scored an own goal as well um, but it was the Suarez show he was absolutely deadly in front of goal and it's a expected but welcome home win and another four goals at home as well uh, and then we went to the Ramon Sanchez Pizuan and we got beaten 1-0 it was a poor game um, we did have more shots, but we didn't do anything with them. Uh, you can see Ter Stegen got player of the match, so you just know that we were we were dominated. We didn't deserve anything out of the game. Uh, most of our shots were long-range shots. Uh, Luis Muriel capitalised on a bit of a defensive lapse and scored after 19 minutes, and that was enough to win the game. And that saw a 
unbelievable streak of scoring goals 25 games it might even have been more than that that we'd scored and we couldn't do it at the Pithuan and that has ended that unbelievable scoring streak uh, as I said Messi is back he came back before the Besiktas game um, so he will be starting today um, and just a little bit of news on the under 19s they've been doing really well uh, they they had a really bad start to the season but in their division they've gone they've soared back up to third they've just been winning week in and week out and they are now through to the quarterfinals of the under 19s uh, youth league uh, with a 2 0 win against Napoli away from home you can see it here Juan Fernandez came off the bench to score the both goals and it's seen us through and the second leg then against Besiktas um, yeah we we made 11 changes uh, but it was still a very strong team but it was nil nil it's it was it was going to be nil nil from very early on you could just tell Besiktas offered nothing going forward we offered nothing going forward it was awful game really really bad game um, but we were already through the draw hasn't been made yet it's about six or seven days away because we've still got uh, the other half of the last 16 to play um, job was done in the first leg in the last video wasn't it so this is it, it, the game went exactly as I expected it to go um, the job was done well this now is not looking quite as rosy as it was in the last video is it uh, Real Madrid have already played they've just beaten bottom side and relegation certainties Leganes 2-0 um, which has lifted them above Atletico into second ahead of today's massive match and you can see now why I have billed it as a massive match because if we lose it Atletico Madrid will be four points behind us with Real just five points behind us and with nine games to go that would be a really twitchy nervous uh, title race the draw at Valencia while it was a good point has been very damaging the defeat at Sevilla was hugely damaging Sevilla look at them they're fifth when we played them they were 11th or 12th I think so they have rocketed up the table now really challenging for the Europa League spot looks like the top four is going to be out of their reach but yeah if we win today and we are at home so we are the favorites if we do win today then we go eight points clear again of Real Madrid but we'll be 10 points clear of Atletico and we will be massively comfortable again still confident no matter what happens but it's just gonna be a little bit twitchier if we don't deliver the points today I said then in the last video that I was going to show you the transfers um, because the January window shut a long time ago now um, I was going to show you what Pep Segura has done at the club um, I know I'm hiding the uh, the value behind me here uh, he spent 103 million euros and we brought in a 36 million euros in the transfer market um, so you can you can see he's brought in Angel Di Maria Stefan de Vrij and Mario Fernandez um, the big sales were Vermaal and Vidal and Turan all players which if I was in control of the transfers they would have all gone and maybe would have tried to get a bit more money out of the um, out of the deals but they would have gone um, so the, the question is at the end of the season and I'm not asking for decision now I'm going to do that a little bit later on in the season but it's going to be what do we do with our director of football do we get rid of him or do we keep him on um, it should be noted he does have four years left on his contract and he's on 30 grand a week so to sack him it's going to cost six million um, hopefully there'd be a mutual termination that we could come up with an agreement there but that is likely to still be at least half of that I assume um, but then you know we I have some on my shortlist which I will show you when it comes to decision time I'll be having a look at a few more potential replacements there are loads out there with much better stats he's not great um, but I don't know if a better one would be any better if you know what I mean because I'm not 100% sure the director of football role in the game is all that at the minute last stop then before we get to the match and it is the finances not showing you these for quite a while now possibly even the first episode maybe the second um, and you can see our balance has taken a massive hit we're now in debt to the tune of 61 million euros nearly 62 
Uh, we still, for some reason, have a 26 million pound, uh, 26 million euro transfer budget. We're way under our um, wage budget as well, and we've got plenty of room that we could play around on that. The scouting budget is still nearly 400,000. Um, we have got the world packages going on, so it is depleting, but we are still classed as rich with I assume once the prize money and stuff kicks in at the end of the season and your TV money and your season ticket sales and things like that, we will soon be right back in the black. We're well on course for financial fair play. There is nothing to worry about. Um, but it's a, I don't like seeing us in debt, um, but I'm sure it won't be for long. Today's channel shout out is for Paul or the northman as he is known on youtube and twitter a fantastic guy in the community really honest um if you ask for advice he will tell you what he's thinking good or bad which you've got to love you've got to respect he's very direct he's very blunt um but it gets results it, it, it is just what you need uh, he's currently got a series going on with fc united of manchester um he's He's very consistent. You can see he's got il over 1,100 subscribers now. That has absolutely rocketed up. Um, I think he's gained two or 300 subs uh, since FM18 came out, which is fantastic. Uh, you can see he's also on FM18. He's had a Celtic save during a beta, and I believe he is now streaming that save. Uh, so be sure to check him out. Follow him on Twitter. He's a great guy uh, from Norway. Uh, he's just moved house recently as well he's got a beautiful house with a lake around it oh, it looks absolutely incredible he's a fantastic guy so make sure you click the links in the description you follow him on twitter and you subscribe to him because he is one of the good guys that is for sure check him out here we go then this is the formation this is the lineup for today and it is as strong as it can possibly be uh, we only have Jordi Alba as an injury worry at the minute so it's Tostegen in goal Digne, Umtiti, PK Semedo at the back Busquets, Iniesta, Paulinho Golden Boy, Golden Ball, Golden Balls in attack these are the lineups then uh, the Camp Nou is looking fantastic and not very Camp Nou-ish oh, there you go that's shots better that one from behind the goal was not the Camp Nou um, so you can see Atletico Diego Simeone is playing a 4-4-2 interestingly I had a look because uh, I was going to show you their squad um, but they've made no signings this summer uh, they've sold a few um, but they've made no signings Ob obviously Diego Costa and uh, Victor Vitolo were already arranged to come in um, at the beginning of the game they're in the squad but ineligible um, so yeah we're gonna have to watch out for Griezmann and Costa up front because that is one heck of a partnership and I get the feeling that this is going to be quite a difficult job to break this team down um, this is really annoying right we've been in charge now we, we, it's the middle of March and yet the mood in the dressing room before the game still has not improved it's really frustrating because the dynamics are all good uh, the dressing room atmosphere is brilliant. The match cohesion is brilliant. Um, my relationship with the players is improving all the time. Is I just don't get what's going on. Um, right, how are we going to go about the team talk? Actually, revenge. Definitely revenge. Assertively, do them. <laughs> Let's do this. So Diego Costa gets the game underway. We are good to go. It's the match of the weekend. It's potentially the match of the season. This could be an absolute classic. Corner for Juan Fran to whip in. In it goes on Titi with a towering header. Um, so today's shirt then is a bit of a classic. Um, oh, Saul's drilled one just wide. Uh, you can see, you can probably see there, look, I have it's an old shirt this one it has been one that i've used to play football a lot and you can see some of the um some of the lettering on unicef is coming off a bit i always like this shirt because it was just half and half yeah it was just rather than the stripes or the hoops or four columns it was just two halves and i always loved it um i always remember thierry Henry henrik larson wearing this shirt um i I've always really liked it and I was always really proud because it had UNICEF emblazoned on the front as Diego Costa misses a big big chance 
Um, so yeah, I've always loved this shirt. Um, I was heartbroken when these letters started peeling off. Um, but it happens, doesn't it? Right, we are 20 minutes in and nothing is happening here. Atletico Madrid are by far the better team. That has got to change. Here's Iniesta. Lovely ball looking for Suarez and brilliant tackle, brilliant defending from Godin. Held off his countrymen superbly there. And Diego Costa can launch a counter. Here's Saul. Love Saul. Such a good midfielder. Griezmann out to Carrasco. And what was that? Here's Carrasco on the edge of the box, back to Koke, Vesalico, Diego Costa and a big save from Tostegen. What is going on boys? I have demanded more. I think it's gone through. I'm not sure. I just did it before this highlight. This is a disastrous performance at the minute. How are we 21 and a half minutes into the game and we have not had a shot on goal in our own stadium? What are you playing at boys? We haven't scored for two games now. Right, here's Suarez. Plays Messi in. This is 1-0. Oh, he's... Koke in the centre of the pitch. Out to Carrasco. I still can't get over that miss from Messi. That was very un -Messi like I suppose we put that down to him coming back from injury as Griezmann's low drive is turned away brilliantly by Tostegen. Costa keeps it alive and Griezmann's hit the post with the rebound and Costa was offside. Oh, two big chances again. They are killing us at the minute. Come on, Iniesta shoots. <laughs> what was that from Jimenez? He just launched himself at the ball. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Uh, Koke with the free kick. Here's Carrasco. Plays it in. Oh, and Paulinho clears. And that was Godin, I think, who that fell to, thankfully, because there was no conviction in the finish. Carrasco hits one and PK puts it out for a corner. Oh, we are getting absolutely destroyed here. We are being dominated on our own patch. They have come for the points. That is for sure. They want the points here. But now Messi bringing it away. Oh, that's a Lu Felipe Luis. That was a horrible challenge. And he wasn't... Oh, he has been booked. I thought, because the highlight finish, I didn't think there was going to be a book in there. Oh, this is, uh, this is just awful performance. Suarez, though, into Messi. Suarez, Dembele's header. Couldn't get any power on it. It was just behind him. Carrasco plays it forward and Griezmann's in on his left foot and he went early to Stegen saves. Um, so you'll see it just come up at the top there. We've gone for the big dog. We've gone for show some passion. We are definitely not happy. As Iniesta puts in a rubbish cross with his left foot, but it could have been the fact that the crosses are broken. Uh, Oblak with a big clearance. PK gets it back in possession now. Here we go. Iniesta, come on. Let's score an undeserved goal. Sergio Busquets, Paulinho, Iniesta. Oh, what is going on? Our free scoring, uh, just free scoring approach to the game has just evaporated completely. But Messi is in again. Oh, and he's put it wide again. Half time then, and it is goalless. And we are lucky that it is goalless. It has been the worst first half I have seen in charge of Barcelona we have aggressively said I am not happy with your performance out there everyone is fired up everyone is motivated but that means nothing if they don't go and turn this around in this second half because that was absolutely unacceptable I expect an awful lot better boys vamos Diego Costa Bringing it forward. A lot to do here, but he's found Griezmann and Dean intercepts the pass as Suarez now brings it away at the other end. And a massive challenge, but Dembele keeps it alive. Plays the 1 2. There it is, and there's Messi. And there is that undeserved lead. It's Leo Messi's goal. It's Dembele with the assist. And we are FMing Atletico Madrid. That was a hell of a tackle, but it broke for Dembele. He played the 1 2 then with Suarez, and then First time ball across and Messi snuck in and puts us ahead undeservedly. Throwing for Semedo. Sergio Busquets back to Semedo. Now Paulinho across to Iniesta. Out to Semedo again. Go on to the byline. He puts it across. Oh, it's lovely play. And Iniesta lashes us 2 0 up. And is that Iniesta's first of the season? I don't remember him scoring before. Um, it's a brilliant move in, in and around their penalty area, though. Patient build-up, but such good. Look at Iniesta, he just drifted into space. Suarez brilliantly tees him up. And that is a superb finish. And that stunning, stunning finish from Iniesta is going to be the Spanish legend's um, 
final contribution. He's coming off. We're bringing on uh, Angel Di Maria because he's been unbelievable playing in this role as the advanced playmaker. Sergio Busquets as well is coming off and Ivan Rakitic is coming on. The two players coming on are both looking for more first-team football. Um, they're both on course to have that promise kept, which is great news. Uh, but here we go with a highlight. Lucas Dean, how we are tuning up in this game is beyond me because it's been a terrible, terrible performance. But we'll take it. We will take it. Here's Semedo cutting in field a little bit. Di Maria, nice possession on the ball now. I've, and of course we lose it as soon as I say that. Commentator's curse strikes there. But we've got it back now with Messi. Across to Suarez. Oh, Dembele was in there, but Messi's in. How many times is he going to miss those? Leo Messi. One on one with the keeper. That's, that's three that we've seen that he has drilled wide of that far post. It has not been a good day for him as Diego Costa is in and he has missed a big chance as well. Semedo with a throw in here. Goes down the line to Suarez. In the penalty area now with Messi and nothing happens there. Oh, that's an awful clearance. We've got it back. Here's Di Maria. Oh, so, oh, I thought that was a lovely ball to Suarez. I misjudged the flight of that ball horribly. Um, here we go with Gamero. Good ball into Costa. And a good shot. Almost caught to Stegen out. But the big German got down well at his near post. The throw-in is going to be taken by Juan Fran. Di Maria's headed it away. Suarez can lead a counter. And look at the blue tide coming forward. But Suarez, I thought, was going to go on his own. That was a massive tackle from Godin. If they do score here, it is going to be very, very nervy. And Costa's drilled it wide. Our third and final change then sees Sergio Roberto come on in the box-to-box -box midfielder role for Paulinho. Big news on the Atletico Madrid side as well. They have just lost Diego Costa to injury, which I was really happy about until I realised that Luciano Vieto has come on to replace him, who has scored in every game against us this season. Uh, but here's Di Maria blazing way off target. Yeah, so he has scored um, in all three games that we have played against them um, so far as Vieto. So I am not looking forward to him getting a chance in these final 15 minutes because at 2-0... I'm still not 100% convinced it's safe, but Suarez could put it beyond them. Oh, and Oblak has saved. Good hit from Suarez, who has just hit a little bit of a goal-scoring drought at the minute. Um, but the guy is class, and he won't be long before he finds the back of the net again. Wouldn't put it past him doing it in this match now. Here's Sergio Roberto, out to Dembele. Luca Dean went on the overlap. Oh, was Dembele offside there? That's a bit rubbish. That league table is looking good, though, With this, if this stays as it is. Uh, Suarez has dived a little bit there, and Gomero's found himself in the clear. Oh, and Titi were brilliant, and Vieto went for the shot, and that is an incredible save from Testegen. And Umtiti, how he got back to Gomero there, I will never know. Gomero was gone. A messy tackle by Wanfran, and Testegen picks it up. Calm down, boys. Luca Dean with the throw. You can see at the top of the screen there the encourage instruction has just gone through and Sergio Roberto smashes one wide. It's been a really entertaining game. We've definitely come back into it more um, after that horrible start when we should have been at least one or two goals down as Di Maria fires one wide. Um, but we've somehow got it back up to 15 shots. But we've only put three on target and we have scored two. I am still classing this as we are FMing Atletico here. It is so undeserved it is untrue uh, Nelson Semedo here bringing the ball out stretching the pitch a little bit Messi looking to find Suarez he has but Suarez can't get away and Atletico will build from the back again long ball forward Umtiti is a beast I love him absolute beast and here's Digne now into Dembele who's had a quiet game Sergio Roberto there Messi's in and 3-0 the points are in the bag. They probably already were. But Leo Messi has his second. And we've been efficient with the, with the shots on target. Let's look on the bright side. Brilliant ball in from Sergio Roberto. And Messi scores his second and our third. Semedo with a throw. Here's Messi to Dembele. Oh, it's a good hit. And a strong fist over the bar from Oblak. Swatted that one away. Rakitic takes the corner, Godin 
heads it clear. Carrasco completes the clearance. And Vieto, oh, he's got it. He's got to the ball. And Tostegan was alive to that. I thought for a second Gamero was going to get to that. Look at Atletico's fitness. They are dead. And for once, our superior fitness has shone through in this game. But they will not let it lie. You wouldn't expect a Simeone team to give it up. But there it is. You look at those stats and you have to, uh, possession wise, we smashed it. Um, but you've got to say, Atletico are going to feel really, really aggrieved that they haven't got something out of this game. We are going to reflect that. We're going to just say we got away with that today. Um, Gerard Piquet is a sensitive little soul. He always seems to get confused and demotivated when it's not a positive team talk. Um, Andres Iniesta as well is confused and demotivated. But the rest of them look fired up because I think they know they were not good enough. And big news, we have qualified for the Europa League. Get in. That is what we wanted. That was the aim for the season. Um, but we look at the league table and it shows that we are now 8 points clear of Real Madrid. We are 10 points clear of Atletico Madrid. We are 15 points clear of 4th place Valencia. Nine games to go, surely, surely we can't throw it away from here. So after that uh, somewhat flattering win, um, we have got a busy looking few weeks coming up. We've got Real Sociedad away and Girona at home. Then we've got the Champions League quarter final um, with Deportivo La Coruña away sandwiched in between. Um, so what I have done is I have fast forwarded through to the draw for the quarter final. So let's end the video and find out who we're going to get. I am about to move from down here to up here. So here we are then. Eight teams left and they are eight huge teams. Joining us are Atletico Madrid, Monaco, Bayern Munich, Juventus, Manchester United, Real Madrid and Benfica. All bets are off. There are no protections now. There are no seedings. There is no, you played them in the group so you can't play them. There's no, you can't play anyone from your own country. It's how the draw happens. So we will press automatic draw as is the tradition and let's see who we get obviously i want benfica because we hit them for nine in the group games so <laughs> i would choose benfica but for the sake of the series i would like someone new we are out first and we will play by <laughs> bayern munich oh wow atletico madrid will play benfica Juventus will play Manchester United and Monaco will play Real Madrid. Wow! We will play Bayern Munich. Okay, so that will be episode 9. The games against Bayern. It looks like we're going to be home first. We, we need to get the job done. Um, so join us for episode 9 and guys for Bayern home and away. If you've liked this video then smash that thumbs up button and subscribe as well. It all helps to get the channel noticed. Uh, we're up to 224 now with the subscribers, which is unbelievable. Uh, I think we've gained over 50 now since um, since FM18 dropped. So that is unbelievable. Make sure you always stay involved. All of you comment down below, whatever you want to say about your saves, the series so far, tactical ideas, player ideas, um, and don't forget, stay tuned. Turn on the little bell next to the uh, subscribe button so you'd never miss an episode as well because uh, occasionally the schedule it is normally Tuesday and Friday, but occasionally it might just alter a little bit. There might be an extra video come out. Um, there might be videos that aren't a part of this series that come out. Um, that is the plan at some point to do little either experiments or guides or something like that so make sure you hit that little bell as well and then you'll get a little notification when a video goes live so thank you so much for watching guys i am properly pumped to get to this buy-in game now i cannot wait i'll see you very soon for it Bye bye